Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today is a health update. Yes. Yikes. Okay. So, if you've been with me for a little while, you know that I've been having problems swallowing. Now, um, it kind of started when I was choking on food um, and uh, when I was trying to take my pills, it just constantly felt like it was stuck in my throat. Um, and then the one time I lost my voice <laughs> um, and I was going, okay, what's going on? So I talked to my doctor and it took forever to get any kind of tests or anything done. A couple weeks ago, I had a barium swallow done. That was a horrible experience in itself. But um, my doctor just called me today to tell me what the results are. It's not cancer, thank God. But there is something wrong. I, I thought it was allergies, right? Because it kind of went away a little bit and I was just like, oh, okay. Um, it's starting to bother me again. And um, sometimes it feels like it's getting harder to breathe. And I've got, I panic, like I get panic attacks if I can't breathe. So anyways, he told me that I have something that's called a esophageal web yay um i basically what it is is i'm gonna put up a few, a few pictures of that i found on google but it's basically a web that kind of grows on your esophagus right so when you go to swallow it gets gets caught on that web and then you got to cough and you know dislodge it um yesterday i actually felt like i couldn't breathe very good like somebody was choking me and i coughed and i guess it moved it or something and i was okay it always feels like something's there Right. And I thought, you know, this is an allergies. So that's what it is. It's an esophageal web. Now, from what I've read, what I just finished reading, um, it could be a multitude of things. It could be passed down from parent to child. It could be a hereditary thing. It could be a autoimmune thing. Um, it could be an iron deficiency thing. Um, there's a few different reasons. So I'm not crazy. There is something wrong. <laughs> I started thinking like, is this real? Like, am I, is it, am I imagining things or so he said that he's going to send me to a specialist. It's going to take a, you know, a few months to get to a specialist, like everything else. Um, but in the meantime, <laughs> he said, you might want to start blending up your food. I did not tell him that I am on the carnivore way of eating. I'm, I'm waiting to tell him that for a while. Um, have you seen that commercial from Kraft Dinner? where the guy's in the wheelchair and he's all bandaged from head to toe and his best friend is blending the craft dinner and feeds it to him through a straw. I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, eh. Can you imagine me trying to blend up a steak and eat? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I know it all goes down the same and it grinds up in your stomach, but no, no. I draw the line at certain things. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if I was still eating the American standard American diet, uh, where I was eating vegetables that's easier to swallow or, you know, stuff like that. 
but when it comes to meat, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> like, um, I have noticed, like, I, George chokes on his food all the time because he can't chew it properly and he takes way too big a bite. So I'm constantly getting mad at him and yelling at him because we've had a couple of closed galls where I've almost had to do the Heimlich on him. So I keep telling him, chew your food better and make take smaller bites. Well, now I got to take my own damn advice. <laughs> so um, I have to make my food in really small pieces now. It's going to take me forever to eat a steak. <laughs> <laughs> why me so yeah so that's what it is um he says it's not cancerous it's nothing like that he says but you know i'm at the moderate range i'm not at the you know beginning stages where you know it's it doesn't need to be treated and i'm not at the really bad stages where it's completely blocking my esophagus and needs to be dealt with like right now I'm kind of in the middle, so I will have to, um, I will be able to get in to see the doctor sooner. Now, the treatment, they're going to have to check me for anemia, I guess, and then if that's the case, then treat me for anemia. Um, there's a, uh, a procedure where they go into the esophagus and stretch the esophagus out. <laughs> um, and then you're in the hospital for a day or whatever, and uh, that usually fixes itself. And then the other option is going in and just cutting it out. <sighs> so, yeah, probably surgery for me. Great. Um, they said that it's like a local anesthetic or whatever. Uh-uh. You're going to have to put me the hell out because I can't, I have a bad gag reflex. I can't handle that crap. Um, if it's the, when I had the, um, the scope done, they didn't put me out all the way. It was like a, I was like an in and out kind of thing. And I was like, I, I, I knew what was happening and I was gagging. I could hear myself gagging and gagging. Um, I can't go through that. If they're going to do it, they're going to have to knock me out because that traumatized me. Um, no, uh, uh, um, so yeah, so that's the story guys. Um, yeah, I have, I mean, even with liquids, I have a hard time. Like some, like as it says, like sometimes it, the food or liquid will hit that web and it'll come back out. So, oh, and they also said that, um, it could also be in relation to GERDs, acid reflux disease, which I, everybody knows I have, I'm on medication for it. So yeah, fun. So yeah. I have a hard time with liquids as well. And, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, whenever I'm drinking cream and I got that <clears throat> thing going on all the time, I'm wondering if maybe I'm not lactose intolerant. Maybe it's just hitting that web and it's sitting in there and it's just agitating my throat possibility um because my sister has the same thing she gets a, you know so i don't know um i guess we'll have to wait and see see what the doctor says so yeah so there you go life update um yeah <laughs> it's just a never-ending thing for me i guess keeps life interesting i suppose yeah <laughs> anyway so yeah if you're interested if you have similar issues um look it up and talk to your doctor about it um they may have to do a barium swallow 
and uh, find out <clears throat> what the thing is, what, what the deal is, because uh, I, I didn't expect that. I didn't even know that was such a thing. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for me. And I will talk to you in my next video. I love you all. Bye. Bye.